you are using Teams, especially in channels, to, to communicate with others, try to get their attention, you need to make sure that you're always including app mentions wherever it makes sense. So, and what I mean by that is if you're typing out a message and you're expecting somebody to respond to you, um, you need to at mention them. If you aren't, there's no guarantee they realize or get notified that that is what you're asking about. So, you know, some people I'll see them write the name and they won't do an at mention. That's a big no, no at mention them at, at that person, get their attention, make sure they understand that that's what needs to happen, that they need to respond to your message. In addition, you know, I, I'm always working uh, a little bit late or a little bit off hours um, and or maybe I'm working in a different time zone and I know somebody's not available, but I really want to make sure that they get notified first thing, maybe right in the morning or right after lunch, that kind of thing. Use the send later, right? So if you right click on the send uh, button, you can choose to schedule it in the future schedule it for the morning, schedule it for, you know, a little bit later in the day so that you don't have to remember to kind of write back to them. And also you don't have to bother them if they're maybe out with their family or in another meeting, that kind of thing. Another thing to do is, you know, use the posts appropriately, posts and threads. So depending on which way you have channels going, use posts to group your content into logical, a logical organization. So each post is a particular topic with a thread of conversation. If you're in the threaded mode, which is the new mode, you can see my other video about that. Create a thread. Don't respond in the main thread or the main channel if you're going to be talking a lot, right? So if you want to start to say, hey, I want to have a conversation about this. I want to go deeper. Click the button, create a thread, make that post in a thread so that you're not bothering everybody else. And people can follow that and it's organized well based on the topic that you're talking about. So those are just a few things I wanted to bring up. Um, there are some good things for you to be doing when you're using Teams to communicate within your team. If you have some other things that you would recommend doing, put them down in the comments below. I'd love to hear about them.